Why don't we see you on, on television these uh, days? Uh, well, I, you know, as you get older, there's new people coming along, you know, so uh, at the same time, when um, uh, I, I toured non-stop for ten years and, and I decided that uh, if I'd seen another m motorway cone or another moto, I think I'd... So I took some time out to write. Um, I'm not... I'm a, I got a little bit bored mm. with, with acting, believe it or not, and that's a terrible thing to say. Uh, and then I did a series out in Bulgaria which actually reinvigorated me, uh, playing an Englishman buying a property abroad. So I spent uh, ten weeks out there, fantastic country. And I do a couple of things. There's a big studios out there that does things like Expendables, so I've done a few straight-to-DVD uh, films. Um, and I've been writing this book. Yeah. And, and I'm glad you've got it, because I actually was going to bring you a copy, thinking you could take it with you on a Saturday afternoon instead of watching Man United, and you'd have a happier... <laughs> Outcome. Oh, that's well, they're a bit I'm getting out. Well, Keep well, it out of this one. I suppose the analysis, <laughs> the areas are the same. I mean, part fact, part fiction, part <laughs> oh, fantasy. Well you know, well it's, in yes. fact, you're looking very much like Jose this morning. I actually <laughs> thought he was when I saw him in makeup. I thought Jose Marino's yeah, in the room. Oh, great. <laughs> um, how, how would you describe this? Is called Jack Bates and the Wizard Spell. Now, immediately, I'm thinking a bit of Harry Potter meets horrible histories and meets uh, Alfred Cox's The Birds. Uh, oh right, yeah. Yeah, I never, I've, I've never, I never read for my sins. I've never read Harry Potter, so I can't sort of thing. And, and I never read Fifty Shades of Grey, although I did look at the colour chart in Home Base, <laughs> and there was only forty-two. So I think I was a bit disappointed. <laughs> no, it's. I, I, my dad always used to say to me when I sort of switched off. He said, "Oh, you're in the world of the other, aren't you?" You know, instead of penny for your thoughts. And I wanted. Uh, I wanted to do something, a film script, basically, about Richard III, a discovery of Richard III. In because, the car park? Yeah, oh, because yeah. I was on a bus for my sins. I was on a bus and, and a load of kids got on and one, the, one said, what was he doing in a car park anyway? And they said, no, he was buried under it. And I thought, oh, <laughs> the Cray twins are back, you know. Um, and, of course, it turned out to be... And that literally gave you the idea. Yeah, and then I thought, hang on, there's 15 production companies at this very moment probably churning out scripts, a bit like the Hatton Garden... Uh, Bank Very robbery, you know, yeah. the safety. There's probably four movies ready to come out next week. So I, I did a bit of thank God for Google. And of course, you tend to forget about the, the, the princes. And of mm. course, the rumours like, are they dead? Are they not? So I thought I'd do that. And then I thought, how, how can I get these modern kids into this? So it was fantasy. Did they do I want to do a, a sort of a, a time walk where they go into like a TARDIS and, and say, I into the other, and it's my head, which people probably... I wouldn't want Jung or Freud to have a look at it, but I can lie... I get all my ideas from there, and I lie in bed at night trying to sleep, and, why, and it could be I could be taking a wagon train through Indian Territory or whatever, or... And, well, and Leslie, that's it. good luck with it. Thank you very much indeed. There it is. It's called Jack Bates and the Wizard Spell.